Good morning and welcome to another episode of Back to the Past, back in Arkansas. It is December 3rd and the weather has been spectacular the past couple of days. Uh, the temperature this morning is around 60 degrees and it's about 8 o'clock. The sun's only been up for an hour or so, but I'm here getting started. So I've got a tree here that is a walnut. And this small walnut produced probably as many nuts as many of the larger, more mature trees around here, so I really want to keep it. Unfortunately, it's kind of in the way for access being able to get around the front side of my where my barn is going to be here. So to make as much space as possible, um, there will be enough room to drive past it, but that's about it. But I'm building a dry stack stone wall around this tree, and then we'll continue it on back in the direction that the backhoe is setting. Up here will be the front and main entrance going into the barn to where I'll hopefully get uh, my old Ford tractor parked in there. Um, I guess a vehicle if I need to. And then this area will be two stories high um, to where there will be a little apartment for living up above. At least it will be an apartment for now while I'm rebuilding the uh, cabin. And then uh, maybe later converted to storage or just left as a guest house. Um, on that side there will be my workshop. And then on this side over here, the end will be open. Um, and that's where my sawmill will end up sitting. So we're going to go in, into time lapse mode here shortly. Uh, building these dry stack stone walls is something that takes a long time. Um, I'm not sure that I'll even get it done in the next three days. I probably won't. Um, but I've got plenty of stones here to build it with, and uh, any amount that I build up just saves a little bit on fill dirt. Yesterday I had two loads of fill dirt delivered, so uh, I think I've got enough fill to fill in whatever I need to here, and then uh, after that's all done, I'll get some road base on top of it. But on my next trip, I'm going to go ahead and start pouring footings up here. Um, to where I can start actually the construction of the barn and then this will, whatever I don't get done on this trip, this will be done here sometime in the future. So stick around.
Good morning. It feels like an entirely different month uh, than the last time I recorded. It's about 30 degrees and it's been breezy all morning so far, so I'm a little bit slow getting started. Um, it's actually three days later than my last recording. I ended up uh, feeling really poorly on Saturday and slept for 17 hours that day. And then yesterday wasn't a real good day either, so I think I've laid a total of about a half a dozen stones since my last recording. I've been working on some easier projects. Um, I planted some bald cypress trees, did a lot of mowing. <clears throat> I'll be able, probably just out of the, the uh, camera view here. Did a lot of mowing to open up some more ground, and I really like how that's looking over there. So I may swing the camera over there yet and uh, take a look at that, but I think I'm ready to get started. And once I do, I'll go into time lapse again because it takes quite a while for anything to happen on these uh, stone walls. Well, follow me and uh, we'll walk up and I'll show you the property line. At this point, I'm probably about 500 feet from my cabin. Um, got a fence here that's approximately on property line. This is the farthest south tree of heaven that uh, I've found on my property. And I went ahead and killed it and a little one right next to it and another one over there. I killed that and this falls. So they can stand there until they dry up to be firewood and then I'll, I'll uh, use them up then walking on down the hill toward the east. And as I'm walking here, this is some of the area that I, I've uh, mowed and cleared and actually found some pretty usable space. Down here I planted some new bald cypress trees. Um, up near the pond, which is just out of the camera's view now, um, I planted some uh, uh, paper birch, paper river birch trees, and the bark on those are, is pretty remarkable, so I thought that I've got to do something with these, and uh, they need a, a wet environment just like the bald cypress does, so that's what I did over there, and that was how I spent a good part of the day yesterday.
I'm hoping that I am tough enough today to uh, set some more stone. I've already hauled down a couple. I've got another load ready to bring in and then I'll get to work. What are you going crazy now? You need a stick? You got a stick. Go crazy. Go nuts. Here. Want me to throw it? Come here. Hey. Hey.
Well, I'm back. This is as much wall as I'm going to be able to build for this trip. Um, sorry I didn't get to do a lot of talking or talking and visiting. I knew that uh, this was going to be pretty time consuming and, and uh, an awful lot of work. And then losing a couple days just because of not feeling well, that uh, really took a lot out of me too. Something I'm doing as an experiment is to put down some half inch PEX piping. There's about 600 feet of it here to be tested as uh, some passive heat in the shop. And what I plan on doing is to set up something like a glorified swimming pool heater. I'll see if I can find a link to that and be able to run warm water through this on into the winter um, and then circulate it through the shop uh, using an, a liquid air heat exchanger and a, uh, a 12 volt pump that'll run on, on solar. Everything will be uh, run on solar passively. I'll use a liquid with RV antifreeze in this, of course, to keep it from freezing in the winter. Um, I've got about four to five feet of backfill still to go in here. So it'll be buried about five feet deep in the ground. And hopefully um, that'll be enough that it stays a somewhat consistent temperature. I know so far as my spring, um, what it puts out in the summertime is about 70 or 72 degree water. In the winter, it goes down to about 50. And I would just be thrilled if I had this um, in that 50 to 70 degree range all year round. Uh, what it might do is to gain me uh, an extra month or two of not having to heat the shop because really all I'm after there is going to be keeping it above freezing or the barn portion anyway. The shop, I'll want to heat that to where it's comfortable to work in. My biggest problem, biggest two problems, one is, is, is in getting old, I forget things and I really hope that I don't forget this is here after it's all backfilled and covered and come digging in here and tear it up. That's one thing. Uh, the other problem is, is the film material that I've got that I, that I bought uh, a couple truckloads of. In Arkansas, they call it red dirt, and dirt is really a stretch of the imagination. In Colorado, we call it decomposed granite. Here, it's probably decomposed limestone. It has a lot of rocks that are you know, four to six inches in diameter in it. It's fairly sandy and granular whereas clay would be a much better backfill and a heat transfer medium for this. So certainly conditions aren't perfect, um, but it's just a test. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I've lost $125 worth of pipe. I don't care. If it works, um, best case scenario, I get an extra two months of uh, no freezing in the barn. That would be simply awesome. Um, I may use something like this uh, when I go to building a greenhouse back to the uh, southwest of here, too. We'll see how it works. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this episode. I'm going to call it uh, good for another one, I guess. Um, thanks for being with me. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe. I really appreciate any attention I get, and I hope you're learning something too.